What's going on? Johnny here. Someone sent me a question asking, when do you connect memory palaces? This person is studying tourism and they want to be a tour guide. So they have so much information that they have to remember. You know, flowers, animals, insects, food, history, activities, and so on. There's a lot of information to remember. So this person would have so many memory palaces. But how do you connect them together in order to remember all that information when you need it? So I'm going to use Colorado as an example because I live here. So let's say you want to learn a whole bunch of different facts about Colorado. Maybe some general facts or some about government, geography, activities, food, and so on. What I would do is I would create a memory palace per topic. So I would have a memory palace for government, a memory palace for geography, and so on. Let's say I have 10 topics. So I have 10 memory palaces. Now let's say I have a main memory palace, okay? So the main memory palace would be my home. Now what I would do is I would change each specific memory palace for each topic into an image of some sort. So let's say for government, I use Sam's Club. It's a store I always go to, I love it. So Sam's Club. I would change Sam's Club into an image of some sort. So the first thing that came to mind was a golf club. Sam's Club, golf club. Kind of makes sense, right? So I would put that image in the first location in my main memory palace. So my main memory palace, maybe the first location is my bed. Next, I would change the topic of that specific memory palace into an image as well because I wanna know what topic is in that palace so just in case I'm doing a quick scan, I can like figure it out right away. So for me, government, I think of Uncle Sam because I live in the USA. So in my first location, in my main memory palace, my bed, I see Uncle Sam beating <laughs> my bed with a golf club. So when I go through and start to recall information, I'm like, okay, Colorado, oh, let me talk about the government. Okay, where was the government again? Okay, so first location, I see Uncle Sam beating my bed with a golf club. Oh yeah, government is stored at my Sam's Club memory palace, boom. So that's how it works. So I would do that for every single memory palace and every single topic and place them into the locations in the main memory palace. Now, why do I even have this main memory palace? Well, the reason I have it is because everything in those other palaces relate to Colorado. Geography, government, food, activities, all that stuff is about Colorado. And so the main memory palace is Colorado. Every single location is a different topic about Colorado. So that's why it's really beneficial to have this main memory palace. This is an example where order doesn't matter in the main memory palace because government doesn't come before geography, right? When someone asks you a question, you just have to jump to that specific memory palace to start recalling the information. The periodic table of elements is an example where order does matter. So if you have a main memory palace, you have to make sure when you place the other palaces in the different locations that they go in the right order. So let's say the first location is my friend's garage. And the first memory palace I used was Bomb Bomb Battlefield, which is a place in Mario 64, the game. So I would picture a bomb. So I'll picture a bomb in my friend's garage. Maybe, maybe it explodes. And the second location was the snowy one. So maybe I would picture a snowman, place that into the second location in the main memory palace. And maybe that's the kitchen. I see a snowman break dancing on the table and so on. So here, when I go through my main memory palace, I go to the first location. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what take me to the first palace that has the first elements in it. Okay, now the second location is going to take me to the elements after that and so on. So you really want to make sure that you don't mix up your palaces by placing them into the wrong locations. You want to make sure everything is kept straight. Now, when I actually memorized this, I used five memory palaces and I used Mario 64, but I didn't have a main memory palace because all of my palaces came from the same game, which kind of acted like a main memory palace. And so I really wasn't confused about, okay, wait, where did this one memory palace come from and where does it go? But let's say I created a memory palace from Mars 64, one from Skyrim, one from my park, one from the gym, and so on. So I have all these palaces spread out, but they're not connected by anything. Then I want to use a memory, a main memory palace to store all those other palaces because they're just all random. The main memory palace links them all together. 
So that's when you know when you need to start connecting memory palaces if they all belong to one main topic. Because if they do, then you want all that information in one place so you could just go through your main palace and jump to each different palace when you need to because each palace contains different information. Just like for uh, Colorado, you know, we went to this main memory palace, my home. Oh yeah, I saw Uncle Sam beating my bed with the golf club. Oh, I want to talk about the government and that's at Sam's Club. Boom, I jumped to my Sam's Club memory palace. Okay, the government is X, Y, and Z, this and that. So it's really cool when you have this main memory palace and you have like this hub essentially, right? It's kind of like airport. So your main memory palace is this big airport and all the planes are going to be the different memory palaces coming in and out of it. And so that's why you want to use a main memory palace when you have information that all relates to one topic so you don't get confused. And what's so cool about this idea is that there could be so many levels to it and it really helps your organization. So let's take your main memory palace of Colorado. Well, that could be put into another memory palace, a super memory palace. So this super memory palace would have 50 locations in it, one for each state. And so if you wanted to do it alphabetically, however you wanted to organize information. So I would create an image for my main memory palace of Colorado and put that image into the super memory palace. So I have all 50 states and I'm like, okay, let me talk about Colorado. Oh yeah, that is in the 17th location. Oh yeah, that is my home. Can I see myself waving there? Whatever it may be. Oh, yeah, that's my home. Boom, my home. The first location in my home is my bedroom. Oh yeah, I see Uncle Sam being in my bed with the golf club. Oh yeah, that's about government. So you can see how you can organize so much information and not lose track of anything. That is why this idea I'm talking about is so cool because the amount of information you can have stored in your mind is just astronomical. Hopefully you love this idea as much as I do and you can see how easy it is to connect palaces together and keep everything organized so you can have a ton of information at your fingertips.